Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Oh, from a rather chilly uh, beer room now. It was lovely and warm earlier, to be fair. So, I'm going to be reviewing this bad boy from Sadler's Brewery, Mellow Yellow. A pale honey ale. And the good thing about Sadler's on the back, they have a sea smell and taste, which is what you want from beers. Um, you see honey and yellow. You smell pineapple, lemon and citrus. You taste honey, fruity and smooth. But also it's got all the details on the back. Um, with your grain, the hops, food matching, cookery tip. And the bitterness and the sweetness. So a very informative um, label. A pale honey ale, powerful hop character is balanced with a sweet honey fish finish. So, food review today. Um, I need a beer in these times, I'm not joking. Just listened to um, Boris Johnson and the latest coronavirus update. And that one and a half million people, that's a lot of people will be told that they are not to basically to self-isolate for 12 weeks. Um, obviously now, I've got to wait and see if my wife's one of them. It'd be a bloody shock if I get a letter through the door saying you am one of them. That'd be, you know, it's, I doubt it. But I've certainly got a neighbour across the road. She had a um, kidney op. And she'll definitely be on that list. So, golden pour, white head, uh, faint um, lacing, but that might be the glass. Sometimes it is the glass. Uh, you're better off using cider glasses. That tells you straight away if, the, if it's got a, a lot of carbonation and lacing in. Pineapple, lemon and citrus is what you're supposed to smell. I'm get, definitely getting a whiff of pineapple. It's picking out the flavours because you waft your nose over the top and you don't get it straight away. Then you go like a dog sniffing and, uh, and then you actually can pick out the flavours. Now it says honey, fruity and smooth on the taste. Yeah, initially I'm definitely getting the fruity, bit of honey and it's got a twang to it rather than smooth. Now I've drank this in the pub when it was at room temperature. Well, by the time I got home it was at room temperature. And it was very, very smooth. Was that Sam Cover? No. Tell a lie, it was a different beer altogether. So... <laughs> Definitely got a nice twang to it. It's uh, going down lovely, that is. Got the fire on at the side of me, just to keep the heat in. Oh, work tomorrow. So, now you've got to keep this flipping social distancing when you're at work now. Um, and I've got friends in retail. So there, they're there. They're handling money from people. They've got no chance on God's green earth of having two metres uh, distance from anybody else. Uh, very hard for people in retail uh, on the shop floor. On the shop floor, the situation, you know. Um, and uh, today, he also said that um, if need be, and you can tell, there's levels where they don't want to shut the country down too quickly. So they brought that in last week, everyone to work from home, blah, blah, blah. Then the, and then obviously through the week, shut all the uh, schools down, shut the restaurants down, and then this tomorrow, 1.5 million. You can see the progression at some stage in the next week or so, where everybody has to work from home. Or they shut the country down. Um, except for certain workers. 
Um, how that affects me, God knows. And uh, obviously, you worry about wages, and that's a uh, scary moment in history. But when the projected, um, well, that they're saying, one and a half million people have got to stay at home. That tells you straight away that this virus, if left unchecked, could not only wipe out most of the 70s and upwards. They've also got these one and a half million, whether they're part of that. So it could, it, has the, it, it could wipe out millions if left unchecked. Flipping frightening, frightening. Oh. They've got a nice twang to it. Um, At all. Um, I've only had it once before, got it in a bottle some years ago, and um, I think my daughter picked this up for me from Home Bargains the other week. Home Bargains, such a great resource for new for different beers. You know, every now and again they'll have three or four in that you just go in and pick up. I do like that. I mean, at the moment, you dare go to too many supermarkets because you don't want to bring anything home. And uh, we're already having discussions now about just me going to the supermarket. And uh, my wife, she's, you can tell, it's like being a prisoner in your own home. It's uh, She's got a good little life where she has, meets, a lot of, meets mates, goes running, and it's like that's all being pulled in. All for her own good, obviously, but... It um, communities are oh, so much so going to have to uh, stick together through this moment, this blip in time. It may be the fact that you just wipe two thousand and twenty off the record as a, as a bad year, you know, and move on. Obviously, there's been world wars. We we were never there for it. obviously none of us at this age. Uh, world War One. World War Two, um, obviously quite a few there for World War Two, but um, not that many nowadays. And um, you know where life was put on hold in in, in the main main, and uh, this is more devastating than either of them two. This is this the only time you've ever seen this on the planet was the Spanish flu of nineteen eighteen. So. Um, yeah, and uh, there's not there's a reason why I understand now. There's a reason why governments around the world, all governments, are all doing what they can to protect their citizens. And uh, difficult choices, difficult times to be a prime minister of a country. You know, the last thing you want to see is thousands and thousands of your people dying, and your country on its knees. This is no doubt going to be lead, lead to another recession. Um, but then for the rich in the world, the rich will need to come out of this and start ploughing money back into society. For us all to survive. You know, it's not just about the governments. There's plenty of people with billions and billions of pounds of their own, millionaires, you know. And, uh, I mean, at the moment, there's... Um, Business, business changes at the moment now. If you're in the ability to make uh, these ventilators, wow, the money you could make from that. If you've uh, got the ability to, to make, and breweries up and down the country have, to make hand sanitizer and start selling that, and soaps, um, especially hand sanitizer. Uh, a brewery up and down the country can be helping to restock shelves with hand sanitizer, and uh, certainly stem the and help the country be clean. Really, so 
So I can't wait to get some brewing done. I'm still waiting for the stuff I've got in the house to finish off. And then that lot behind me. Uh, free brews, cherry and great red grape juice. Don't know how that's going to turn out. Um, obviously the red grape will give it a bit more body. And the cherry will provide the flavour. It will be a bit darker than the cherry juice wine I did uh, last year or a year and a half ago now. Um, yeah, because actually the cherry juice wine that I did, I did that. That was review number five. So wow, look at now. 1,105 or six reviews we've done there. Uh, wow. I've drank some beer. And it's nearly an average of close to two a day for the last year and a half, two years. I found an article, I might have already said this in the previous. Um, yeah, I found an article earlier about um, them trialling alcohol to kill the coronavirus. And it does, 40% alcohol does kill the coronavirus. But the, the problem is getting it into your blood without it doing any other damage. And uh, I read upon inhaling it, which is you put, you put like vodka and you put it, pour it over dry ice. Uh, God knows where you get dry ice from. Um, I was looking at ice cubes in the fridge, I think that's nah, not dry ice. And uh, that's wet ice. <laughs> But, um, and inhaling it, and it says all it does is damages your organs. Well, if you're going to fucking die anyway, you might as well fucking inhale a bit. If you inhale it for 30 seconds, 30 seconds of contact with coronavirus kills coronavirus. So, this, because I read that from this particular site. So, if you inhale for 30 seconds, 30 seconds isn't that long. Inhale for 30 seconds continuously, and if that goes straight to your lungs and kills off the coronavirus, is that not a good thing? I've never done that, so I would never know, you know. I've um, never done drugs either, but um, yeah, it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? There's bound to be some crazy way of beating it, uh, and in in China, they've got nine vaccines tested now. Americans obviously got vaccines going. We've obviously got vaccines going. And well, I would think every country in the world has. Every country in the world that's got the ability will be doing something to make a vaccine to beat this. Funnily enough, you don't hear anything from the likes of Russia. And that's so it makes you wonder. Really does. Weird times that you talk about a bloody virus instead of talking about interesting things in life, isn't it? So, gazebo's up, rat and sets out now. Garden starting to come in, come back into colour. I've got um, plants that herbaceous plants. What herbaceous plants? They die off in the winter, so it looks like you've got nothing in your garden. Now this time of the year they start to grow again. And uh, I've got loads coming through, and I've just I've started to have a bit of a change around in the garden. I, I'm a gardener; I get bored, and uh, but I want to make the bottom area a little bit more private. So I've moved some big grasses called formiums down, just to give a, like a barrier. So there's a little bit more private area down this bottom end of the garden. Then obviously I've got loads of painting to be done, but I've got to be in the mood for it. I've got a massive tub of paint. But um, it's funny how these, uh, you buy these paints, they're supposed to last five years. After one year, the bloody, you're, you're doing it again. And sometimes even twice a year. So five year miles. And it's supposed to be guaranteed as well. You think, rubbish. Oh. I was thinking about getting some more pallets and building something, uh, a brewing area in here for the summer months. Uh, Hopefully we get hopefully we get there. Um, so I've got more room for brewing. I've got my wife's stuff in here at the moment, bloody cake baking stuff. 
but that's all on hold as well because everybody's cancelled cakes obviously you know uh, no one's having parties yeah, social distancing and all that rubbish um, yeah it's a funny funny time to be alive it really is but be alive being alive is better than the other so drink to that eh So, gotta say, that was nice. Um, so, a, a honey ale, basically. Um, on the taste, definitely got the honey, definitely got pineapple, very crisp, citrus elements to it. Uh, on the nose, definitely got the honey on the nose. Taste fruity smooth. I didn't think it was smooth. I thought it was more twangy. Um, so I contradict what they say on the taste. But what it was was a very nice pint. Uh, a really good pub pint in in my view. Um, definitely one you want to sit in a pub and uh, neck a few of. That's if you can sit in pubs these days, which obviously you can't at the moment. So you know. Uh, someone in few a few years will watch this video, come across it and be, oh, mellow yellow, I'll, I'll look at that, what's all this bollocks about, virus? And uh, once it's gone out your memory, you know. Hopefully, sooner rather than later. Out of five then, did I say the ABV? The ABV is 4.3%, yeah, and it feels like a 4.3% as well. Not too strong, good flavour. Out of five then. Um... I'm going to give it a 4.1 out of 5. Yeah, it was nice enough. Not, 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 a, not a top 10 beer, you know. But certainly a beer that's uh, well worth trying if you come across it. Or if you go to their uh, brewery page. And as I'm saying with all reviews at the moment, please support your local breweries and any breweries. If you can't get beer from the supermarkets, go to your little shops and get it because they'll probably have it. And even better, go direct to the brewery. Because the breweries are all offering uh, money off beer at the moment, just to just to keep alive, and that we can all help um, shops, breweries up and down the country uh, by supporting them. And I think it's a, you know at this time where it's crucial that we all stick together. It's yeah, good time to do it. And I've been rattling for eighteen minutes. These reviews get longer. God's sakes. Thanks for watching. See you soon.